So eager are you. The mill, then. We shall discuss the assault inside. See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Kill him! I see no ducals along the road. They must not be guarding it. Roderick was right. Defense we'll manage. Crates on the wagon. Yeah. 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 Hurry with those crates. But be careful. Someone's if you here. drop any, they breach the back wall. Come on. Kill it. I shall ah. show you. Oh. Oh. Company. Sintrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where are they now? In. in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them, woman named Siana? Of. of course. She. 
She convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack, packing. We were to leave together, and old fool, I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower, the top floor. Where's the hostage, the woman? What? What, what do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. What, what will become of me? Here, press it against the wound. Should staunch the bleeding. I... I thank you. What is happening? This one! Kill the shit like that! Giving you one last chance. Yield. And Harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! Shall pay for everything. our help. So, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renna? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go, then. Are 
are you? Are you hurt? If any of them... You know me. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I... Forgive me. I failed you. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sianna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Rena's not her real name. This is Sianna, and Sianna is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Sianna was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the Ducal family. Centrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. <clears throat> Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Seems you've got some last scraps of honor left. It's the least I can do. Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Siana to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. <clears throat> and you, Witcher. 
You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. He's no traitor, just naive. Let himself be made a fool of, paid dearly for it. Made a fool? Whom by? Your sister. She's the one convinced him to let the bandits into his home. We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detloff. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Abbott rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not events. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rulers? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siana's committed terrible crimes, spilt so much blood, they... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true, but she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. Times I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds. They catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the batu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. 
I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! They protect the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. It's war this Detlef wants. It's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... Get her out of here. Siana failed to appear as summoned, and there. Detlef is not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlef out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, and I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis. Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. But he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this. Because I might. Still no chance on a Henrietta will. 
I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see. I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis. Don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Sorry, Regis, but folk have died. Got no time to lose. Especially not on some kind of peculiar therapy for bizarre couples. I see. Alas, you know what to do. You must see Oriana, ask her to introduce you to the Unseen Elder. She might agree. What'll you do? Now? Whatever I can to limit the number of human victims to a minimum. Should you learn where the Elder dwells, do whisper a word to the Ravens. I'll come and help. Even though that could mean you'll fight Detlaf? Even though. Good luck, Geralt. back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. <laughs> men! Tend to the wounded! Prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. 
Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bones containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Siana. You know the Duchess's decision. Siana awaits her trial, in custody. Yeah, I know it. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Can't force you, won't try. But I'd urge you to ask yourself a question. How will you feel tomorrow when you bury more soldiers while knowing you might have prevented their deaths, but chose not to even try? See, I'm wasting my time here. Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess Loxiana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. Get somewhere? Very much so. Now be kind enough to step aside. Chaos in the city. Know what's going on? Naturally. It's rather irritating. Bloodbath in the streets. That's irritating? I'd probably use a stronger term. Well, you know, I'm getting on in years. Not easily impressed. It takes a bit more to get me worked up. Yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. I suspected you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. Need to, uh, see your unseen. Convince him to stop Deadlaf. Heard you could help me with that. <laughs> my, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you, there are simpler ways to commit suicide. A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck, make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I, too, would prefer a city calmed, but to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter. Then we'll talk. If I was talking to a human now, I'd say that every moment we delay brings another death. Thing is, doubt that moves you at all. Frankly, not in the least. Where are we going? Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. O an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Let's go. <coughs> Hmm. 
Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. What happened? Where's Arno? Speak. Shh. shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster will come. Easy, little man. You're safe now. So scared. So, so scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But they were so loud. And something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then... Uncle Arno came and said, sit quiet, real quiet, shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife, for a generous fee. I don't see them, can't hear or smell them either. They fled. Left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice, and the monster wouldn't come. But it did. It came. What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me. We hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered. Held her long till she stopped. You mean to say you drop it? Think I know enough? As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You, you track down this scum. Bring me its head, and I'll help you with the unseen. Boys hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go! Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on. Get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Asleep in midst the trees, but solace swaying in the breeze. But one soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner of ghouls, hags, and wraiths. Shoulder and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Beast killed the children, but didn't eat them. Something scare it off? Or grab its attention? Claw marks. Sharp, hooked claws. Monster had an easy time climbing on the roof. Pop. 
Prince, bipedal beast, walks hunched over. <laughs> Smells not blood. Need to investigate. Suspects. Venom glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane, a pack leader, an alpha. For Garcane's killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. Must have gone after the Guardians, too. Garcane and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach! Get up. Drove off the road. Horses must have gotten spooked. Slow now. Whoa. here. Need to look around. Wounds are bad. At least it didn't suffer long. Shredded her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop. God can need its fill here. Probably hold up nearby to digest. from my saddle, bastard.
release him. Now. I thought it would take you longer. It will. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. The orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. No! Don't hurt her! Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be! You see, Witcher? The world's not black and white, it's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true, but never so much as to kill. And I gave them a great deal in return. Expect me to thank you for taking such good care of the orphans? You care so much for their well-being. <laughs> Amusing. How do young witches fare? How many survive your trials? Don't change the subject. Not about to let you. Then get to the point. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garkane. One of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes. It carries quite a way. Its sweetness teases the nose. Gets the mouth watering. Unseen Elder, where'll I find him? Talk. His lair lies west of the city, across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna take me there? I visit the Elder only when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm. Then I shall keep an eye out for you. Time to summon Regis. Slip a word to the birds, he said. the boat landing near the palace, waiting for Regis there. Mind telling him? You've met with Oriana. How did it go? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Well, I admit I'd heard rumors, but... ...preferred to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Caves west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Yeah, I know. You'd still prefer to free Sienna, for Dedloff's sake. For the sake of you both. Oh, please. Orphanage, what happened there? His fault, plain and simple. 
City gutters are overflowing with blood? That's his doing too. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? To meet the Unseen Elder is to face mortal danger. I've said so all along and never in jest. You are a friend, a dear friend. I'd rather you not risk your neck unnecessarily. I think it's natural, I think it's obvious. Obviously natural. Especially when we've an alternative, an entirely reasonable one. <sighs> You've worn me down, Regis. Fine, have it your way. Playroom. Let's go. Excellent decision. Time will tell.